guys, it's Melanie again. Sorry about the weird camera angle. My phone keeps sliding down. Maybe it will work like that, maybe. As you can see, I'm in my bathroom. Pretty little skulls and stuff. And usually, I just got out of the shower usually. I, I'm gonna show you guys why, what I do before I start blow drying and straightening my hair for the night. So I usually try to do it before then. I have no makeup on, so excuse, uh, like, two-tone, like, paleness and the tan, the weirdness that is not my face. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly what I do to get my hair done. I'm not going to show you the blow drying or the straightening, just the products I put into it. And here we go. So... Before anything, I kind of kind of dry my hair a bit. All right. Usually, I do this undressed because my hair is gonna be slopping wet and slapping everything. So I just put on clothes I don't really care about that I can change out of. So the well, first thing I usually do. Just put in the Aussie Anti Frizz Cream. I got this at Target for about $5.99 if I recall correctly. I've had this for a very long time. Since, I think around like Chris, a little before Christmas or around Christmas. And I still have that much in here. Like from there to the lid. And I have the Herbal Essence one waiting to be used. And I just use a small, small bit. And I put it together like this. And I usually just lightly go through because if you put it on too much as a clump, then it will harden that part of your hair and it will just be a mess because it will get like really hard. Like you put too much hairspray kind of hard on it. The next, I use this Tresemme No Frizz Spray. We'll go the right way. I'm almost out of it. Let's see, there's like that much left in it. I've had this for a good two years, because I didn't really use it that much. Because I mistakenly thought this was a heat protectant, because this is anti frizz. But it turns out it's not a heat protectant. Not a heat protectant at all, unfortunately. Put that there. So this is a new product for me. I just got it today. It's um, Moroccan our one and only Argent Oil, Moroccan Argent Trees, oil treatment. So it's put on with your hair is either wet or dry. Putting a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on. A little bit more than that. Because I'm not very familiar with it, so I don't want to put too much on. And when I did my hair earlier, when it was dry, a little bit went a long way, so. Look how that goes through my hair. Now you see my hair is naturally kind of really curly. So that's why I put such a big emphasis on the hair straighteners I use. Because I like these curls to go away. The next I use this John Frieda Frizz Ease 3 Days Straight. This is about like $7.99. You can use it as much as you want on it. It's not going to make... The more you put on it, the better it will work. Depending on how thick your hair is, it will explain it on the box and on the bottle. I've also done it in a review. You, for my type of hair, I want about like 14 squares. I've probably done a little bit more than 14, but I like to be extra sure. And you put this in only when your hair is wet. And you blow dry it. You don't do this for flat iron. You blow dry it straight. And then you can do your flat iron. And then. Try to make sure everything falls. I use. Heat protectant. Tresemme heat protectant. You definitely want to make sure you get your ends. I mean, for a lot of people, this may be a lot of product for them, but I usually do this when I know I'm going somewhere, and I want to be like, and then I just brush it all through. 
to ensure that everything gets in. Unless you want to use like a wide tooth comb or a large flat brush. This is what I've been told. To help like prevent damage or something. I really have a like split end or something along that line. I'm not 100% sure on that one. And I don't remember what I was saying now. Oh yeah. So usually I only like, usually I put in the frizz cream, the Aussie frizz cream, and sometimes the Tresemme frizz cream, or frizz spray. But I'm not really going anywhere, and I'll just put it like my hair up. Just let it dry naturally. Or if I'm just going to blow dry it, I just put like the frizz cream the tris and the heat protectant in there. That way it's just dry, but I don't have to worry about that. Because I don't really use the 3 day straight thing every time I blow dry my hair. I just do it when I know I'm going to have somewhere to go tomorrow, next day. Or later on that day if I'm taking the shower the same day. Just so that way I can, you know, ensure that I'm not going to have to work very hard with the hair straightener. And I'm aware how damaged my hair looks if any of you wanted to comment on that. Because it is actually really damaged. Well, that's basically all I do. Occasionally, if my hair is being stubborn, though, and is refusing to, like, flat iron, I'll use this Regis Design Line Get It Press Flat Iron Spray Medium Hold. It's also a heat protectant. Looks like this. You just spray it, like, grab an individual strand you want to use. You spray it, and then you flat iron it. When the salon person did it for me, they didn't wait for it to dry or anything. They just straight did it while it was still a little wet. You don't want to soak your hair, but you want to get the product on your hair. So, that's pretty much everything I do. I'm going to go ahead and blow dry and straighten my hair now. And all that gloriously fun stuff. So, if you guys have a good night, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good night.